Hello everyone, welcome back to Jus de Rose. The end of the year is already here and for this last video I want to share with you my top five favorite fragrance discoveries from all the new launches this year. Kind of a difficult task to do, but I've narrowed it to five that really blew my mind. Now, if you want a more complete view of 2021 fragrance launches, you can check out my video on the best and worst fragrances from 2021 over here or in the description box down below. But for today, I'm gonna to share with you the five best of the best in my opinion. Now, of course, this is hugely subjective, but if you have similar taste to me, then you may also enjoy these fragrances. In the number five position, we have Narciso for her Musque Noir by Narciso Rodriguez. If you've been following me for a while, you know how much I'm obsessed with Narciso Rodriguez fragrances. They're exquisite, and when it comes to the feminine perfumes, they don't launch the same boring, floral, fruity, or sticky sweet scents that other brands are coming out with. They're known for their soft, ethereal musks that are chic and feminine. This year, Narciso Rodriguez launched Musque Noir, which is a musky, floral fragrance with a pop of fruit. It instantly reminded me of Tropical Cherry Moya by Jo Malone, which was a limited edition that launched years ago that smells divine, and I wish that they had made this permanent. But the good thing is, Musque Noir smells similar to it, which makes me extremely happy. The main notes in Musque Noir are plum, heliotrope, musk, and suede. None of these notes are overbearing, and the plum adds a little element of surprise, which I enjoy very much. The smell is divine. I like to wear this fragrance on the weekends where I'm relaxing and don't want something too overpowering and strong. It delicately perfumes the skin and is a non-fuss type of a scent. The drawback with this scent, unfortunately, is the terrible longevity. On my skin, it lasts between five to six hours, which is such a shame because it smells so amazing, but it just doesn't last. Frankly, I don't mind reapplying it throughout the day because I love this scent that much and I know I cannot find this perfume anywhere else. So there is a bit of a drawback with this fragrance, but you know, sometimes you just go with it if you love the perfume so much. Musque Noir by Narciso Rodriguez. Next up, we have Lys Solaberg by Maison Crivelli. This perfume is a little gem. And if you like your spicy florals with Ambroxan, there's a good chance you're also going to enjoy this fragrance. The main notes are lily, quince, ambroxan, ambery notes, and guyacwood. This perfume is very soft, suave, and rounded. It is an ethereal lily dream of a fragrance. Some people have compared this fragrance to Baccarat Rouge, which I don't see the resemblance at all. Lys Solberg is a standalone fragrance and has its own personality. Hands down, my favorite fragrance from Maison Crivelli so far. Amazing, spicy floral with this addictive Ambroxan sillage. He's done miracles on me. Number three is Invictus Victory by Paco Rabanne. This is by far my favorite masculine launch from 2021 and totally took me by surprise. It is very different to the original Invictus DNA. Now the original Invictus DNA as we know it is a fresh, aquatic, woody fragrance that is very likable and is a sexy, manly scent. Personally, I think it's an upgrade of Abercrombie & Fitch fragrances or Hollister. I'm not a huge fan of the original. I find it to be too synthetic and a little mainstream. Invictus Victory, however, completely the opposite. It is such an amazing fragrance and just one that is, I think, the best right now from Paco Rabanne. This guy is in a league of his own. A fresh amber fragrance with an addictive sweetness of tonka bean and vanilla blended with the warmth of amber and olibanum. I find that there is a good balance between the fresh notes of lavender and citrus with the sweeter ones so that it doesn't become overly sweet over time. He's a badass more manly, darker, and sexier. Though in 
Invictus Victory is a warmer, spicier fragrance. You can wear this perfume easily all year round. And if you already have Invictus, the original version in your collection, Invictus Victory would be a nice complimentary addition to it. The reason being is that you can wear Invictus during the day, also at the office, and then transition into the night with Invictus Victory. It's also a fragrance that you can wear for special occasions where you're a little bit more dressed up. So yes, this fragrance is just the best of the best when it comes to men's fragrances from 2021. Next up, we have Santal Pao Rosa by Guerlain. Guerlain recently relaunched their La Réla Matière collection, changing up the packaging of their existing range and also adding new fragrances. There are two new additions that particularly stood out to me, Rose Chérie and Santal Pao Rosa. Santal Pao Rosa by far is my favorite. It is a spicy, woody fragrance that can be a little bit much upon first application, but the dry down is magnificent. There's a fiery green car note that is slightly camphorous, very strong and may clear a few nostrils or two, but I promise it smells really good. It fuses with this gorgeous sandalwood note that is dry and velvety as opposed to being ultra creamy. In the base you also have some oud. The woodiness in this fragrance is very dry. I get the impression of wood bark. I can also detect a little bit of rose, but there's no sweetness at all. Overall, Santal Pao Rosa is a hot, sensual and refined fragrance. It is completely unisex as well. I enjoy wearing this perfume on cold autumnal evenings and I would recommend you wear it if you have more of a formal event to go to because I find it to be very classy and sophisticated. Ready for it. And in the number one position, we have Material by Amouage. In my opinion, this is the best fragrance release this year from Amouage. I have been pondering over this fragrance for months now. And well, recently I finally took the plunge, went to Harrods, spent all of my life savings to get this fragrance. Well, not all my life savings, but you know what I mean. It is an expensive perfume and an investment, which is well worth it. Material celebrates vanilla, but not as we know it. The notes listed in this perfume include Madagascar vanilla, benzoin, frankincense, labdanum, and tonka bean. It's a smooth, resinous, buttery vanilla. Not overly sweet at all, focusing more on its woody, warm, and sensual character. The warm, diffusive quality of this scent is ultra luxurious. It feels like silk on the skin. It's intimate and inviting. It's a unisex fragrance, but leaning more towards feminine. Material has got to be my favorite fragrance from Amouage. Calling all vanilla fragrance lovers to this scent, it is an olfactive delight and a real treat for the senses. And this concludes today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. Let me know in the comments down below what is your number one favorite fragrance from 2021. I would love to know and I wanted to take the opportunity to thank you all for all your support this year. You truly are the most amazing community of fragrance lovers. I can't thank you enough and with that I'm sending you all the best wishes for the new year and I will see you in 2022. Bye!